Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Abandoned, and I'm in Potrigley, the old Brickworks nearby, to come and look for a tramway. Now, this video was going to be about this short tramway running up and down the hill. Um, there's none of it left. That gate there, that's about it. It runs for about, what, 10 metres behind there, and that's it. Wait. Picking up the camera. So, I came here for the tramway, but I was more amazed by the Brickworks. I mean, look at this site. It's still mostly all here. There's just bits of stuff everywhere. There's a chimney there, chimney there. There's another one down there. It's, uh, it's an old industrial site that's being reused, and it's amazing. And while I walk away from the tramway, which I might as well show you, it's what this channel's about. So on the map here, you can see it runs past the shed. That's this shed here. But I think, I think this is it, guys. That's it. The rest of it's been covered with infill from a quarry. Yeah, we'll have a quick look around Potstrigley Brickworks uh, on my way back down to the car because I've parked like way down there. So yeah, that's uh, that's my excuse for doing this video. Yeah, there's pigeons and that everywhere. It's also quite early in the morning, it's about seven o'clock, so that's why it's very quiet. So I'm gonna look up some facts about the Brickworks. I'm assuming some place like this has quite a lot online about it. So I'm gonna do a bit more research. I did look at the tramway, didn't bother to research the Brickworks. Big mistake, it's the main bit here. So um, basically the rest of this video from this point on, I'm gonna take foot of what I can see and I'm going to do voiceover of the history of Potrigley Brickworks 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 Brick with a K Brickworks there we go so what did I find a comprehensive history going back a few hundred years not exactly if you look this place up online you just get information about the businesses that have now moved in then they still seem to make bricks so we're going to just look at some maps instead and see when things popped in Starting in 1827, we have nothing here, so the next map, here we go. Now there's a quarry here, they've opened a little colliery. In the next map going, we can see there's some details about who owned this place in 1848, according to the tithe maps, and we can see there's also a brickworks now on the south side of the road. Moving on to 1875 and a very high contrast map, we can see a tramway here edging its way up the hill, and the brickworks have been further expanded. 1888 and the 1890s and 1910 map all tell roughly the same story in different scales. Moving on to aerial photography in the 1970s, we can see it's an open cast mine, the brickwork's still there but the tramway is long gone. And then we're just going to skip through the decades as we see it turned into the brickworks that I visited today. Which, by the way, has some very weird things at it. Okay, 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 I got very carried away with the edit, but what do you expect me to do? There's a massive metal skeleton just there. It's just in the- I just turned a corner and it's there. Anyway, so I've realised that coming back this way, we actually go past the end of the tramway again. So we're just going to have a quick look at where it terminates. You can't see anything of it, but might as well conclude the video how I started with at least trying to show the tramway. So it looks to be like the tramway terminated about here. I'm guessing where this more modern building is now. That seems to be the bottom end of it. I don't know how steep it would have been. Looking at the hill I went up, that has to be quite an incline. So I'm guessing it's more of an incline plane than a tramway. That's interesting. The thin house with the tap outside. That got me distracted, didn't it? Wow, check that out. Anyway, so yeah, this is the brickworks in Potrigley. It seems like a nice place. There's actually a, a coffee joint here. There's some places that do your cars. There seems to be kitchen interior places a lot of ways. So uh, yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I guess if you're passing through Potrigley and you come to this place, stop off. There's plenty of parking and it looks nice. I mean, nothing's open because it's half seven in the morning, but hey ho, I have to fit this in before work again.